Code Red Mountain Dew. Pride, nowhere. Mountain Dew may not be as popular as Coke or Pepsi, but this green soda does have a loyal following. Some soda fans enjoy the classic taste, but Mountain Dew has released a number of other flavors over the years as well. These are some that didn't last, but maybe should have. 10 discontinued Mountain Dew flavors we miss. That's what flavor this is. Shine on Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew's Dew Shine is an interesting soda from a giant beverage maker because this one seems to be packaged and marketed in a way to encourage customers to associate this soda with fun alcoholic beverages, like Mike's Hard Lemonade. Plus, I want to unleash the power of moonshine. Bottles of Dewshine even featured labeling that assured customers that this soda was indeed a non-alcoholic beverage. This is a strange decision for a soda company whose core customers are people under 21. Wait a minute, kid. How old are you? But leaving this aside, Dewshine is a clear soda, which is a first for the Mountain Dew brand that usually prefers to impress us with dramatic colors. This limited-time Mountain Dew just do it! featured a refreshing citrus flavor and was touted as one of the rare sodas being made with sugar from sugar cane instead of the sweeter tasting corn syrup that has largely replaced sugar in these kinds of products. Unlike most soft drinks on the market today, Mountain Dew Dewshine was sold only in 12-ounce glass bottles as well as a selection of jugs. This unique Mountain Dew variation was released to a thirsty public in 2015 and was discontinued about two years Years later. A Mountain Dew Cyclone Mountain Dew's flavor variant known as Cyclone had the distinction of being available as a fountain drink only at Speedway gas station locations. This gives the soda flavor something of an air of exclusivity, as Mountain Dew and Speedway hope to draw thirsty customers to these specific locations to get their sweet Cyclone fix. Dun, dun, dun. Cyclone night. It was available at some Speedway locations in March of 2019, then made a wider release in April of 2019, replacing Pitch Black, another Mountain Dew flavor variant. Cyclone is described as having a citrus punch flavor and sports a unique maroon color that is pretty rare among sodas. Mountain Dew has its mellow yellow. The soda company describes this drink as dew with a blast of natural and artificial citrus punch flavor. According to the available nutritional information, Cyclone has a very similar recipe to a soda called Sangrita Blast. The name Cyclone was originally used for a test flavor back in 2009 that eventually became known as Typhoon. This Mountain Dew flavor was later discontinued, but was able to live on in the form of the Cyclone flavor, at least for a time. Looking like a Cyclone hit you. Mountain Dew Sangrita Blast my tongue says Sangrita, but my heart... Mountain Dew's Sangrita Blast flavors featured a similar maroon color to that of another flavor variant called Cyclone. But Cyclone had a fruit punch flavor, while Sangrita experimented with an exotic cherry pomegranate taste before settling on a more conventional citrus punch flavor. Mountain Dew Sangrita Blast first became available in April of 2015, at the same time that Baja Blast enjoyed its second release to a thirsty public. Mountain Dew Sangrita Sangrita Blast was sold throughout the summer months of 2015, then taken off the shelves. May of 2015 saw the release of an icy variant of Sangrita Blast at Taco Bell stores. You want to go to Taco Bell? This Mountain Dew variant replaced a Snapple Lemonade Freeze that Taco Bell stores had been offering to customers at its soda fountains. This replacement drink only lasted a few months at the popular fast food restaurants before it too was replaced by another soft drink flavor. The Sangrita Blast flavor was available for a couple of years, but was eventually replaced in 2017 by a flavor called Spiked Lemonade. Like with some of the other discontinued Mountain Dew flavors, there is always a chance that Sangrita Blast will make a return to store shelves or Taco Bell for another limited run. Any announcement about this flavor would likely be made in the spring because this soda was previously released in time for the hot and thirsty summer months. The announcement will be made any day now. Mountain Dew Supernova. It's gone. Supernova! 
This fruit-flavored Mountain Dew variant first appeared on store shelves in 2008 as part of the Democracy promotion. Supernova came in second in the online voting, losing out to Voltage. These names sound more like Transformers than soda, but regardless, Supernova reappeared a few years later as one of the soft drink flavors included in the Back by Popular Dew Manned promotion in the summer of 2011, before disappearing once again. Supernova also appeared in Canada's version of Democracy, but unfortunately, it didn't fare any better in this promotion than it did in the United States. This flavor features an exotic mix of strawberry, melon, and a touch of ginseng. Okay, ginseng. You sure you know what you're doing here? Ginseng has become a popular ingredient in many sports drinks that are marketed to more health-minded customers. The soda company also put out a diet version of Supernova that met with limited success before being discontinued. In most locations, the Supernova flavor is a somewhat unique bright magenta color, but in some places, such as in Finland and Denmark, it is sold as a bright orange-colored drink. Also, in these Scandinavian countries, Mountain Dew Supernova has found a permanent home. Sadly, Supernova has not been available in the United States since 2011, so if you still want a taste of this liquid sunshine, you'll have to take a trip to Scandinavia to do this do. The Challenging Climate of Scandinavia Mountain Dew's Typhoon this Dew variant had taken part in the promotion known as the Second Democracy in 2009. When the online votes were tallied, Typhoon came in second after whiteout in the final round of testing. Hi, I'm Typhoon. These two flavors were introduced to the soda public in 2010. Typhoon was similar in flavor to the sweet, tropical punch taste of the Mountain Dew flavor known as Solar Flare, but with a more pinkish-orange color. Typhoon was re-released as a diet soda as part of the Fandumonium promotion, but this time it failed to crack the top three in voting and was not made available to the public at this time. These are the top three. However, the Typhoon flavor did see a limited re-release in 2011 as part of a promotion called Back by Popular Demand. This soda was only available for a few more months before being discontinued once again, but not for good. It seems like this Mountain Dew flavor refused to go away quietly, because in May of 2019, PepsiCo announced that Mountain Dew Typhoon would be re-released again after all. But it was not clear how long it would be available. So you'll have to stay on your toes if you want to get some this time around. We're waiting. Solar Flare Mountain Dew Solar Flare was a red-orange soda and had a sweet fruit punch flavor. This was competition for the popular Hawaiian punch product, although that drink is not carbonated. Look out! The Solar Flare! This limited-time flavor was introduced in 2014 and was available only at 7-Eleven soda fountains in the United States, Canada, and the Philippines. This flavor was also available as a 7-Eleven Slurpee drink for a limited time before being discontinued. For some reason, it was not available at supermarkets in cans and bottles like most soft drinks. Mountain Dew is the best soda ever made. Limiting its distribution doesn't seem like a good idea for Mountain Dew, but it does for 7-Eleven. This soda variant was marketed as Dew with a blast of tropical punch, and it tasted as fruity sweet as you would imagine. In 2015, Mountain Dew began pulling Solar Flare from the convenience store fountain locations, and it was not available at most locations after 2016. However, due to continued strong sales at specific 7-Eleven stores, Solar Flare was available sporadically as late as 2019. Soda lovers in the eastern half of the United States have searched in vain for Solar Flare Mountain Dew, but for some customers in the western half of the country, it has not yet been completely discontinued. Go East. Mountain Dew Citrus Cherry When's the last time you had citrus? Mountain Dew is one of the few varieties of soda that is known for its distinctive green color. But this doesn't mean that Mountain Dew has to be green. Market research has shown that people think that red-colored drinks are sweeter than brown-colored or clear drinks with the same flavoring. So it made sense that Mountain Dew's citrus cherry would be colored red even when it was called Game Fuel. This cherry flavor was part of Mountain Dew's Game Fuel promotion that was aimed at attracting the ever-growing population of gamers. Where are my gamers at? 
In 2007, this flavor was marketed directly with the Xbox 360 Halo franchise. Mountain Dew Citrus Cherry had packaging that featured the Halo video game logo, and the game's main character, Master Chief, was featured prominently as well. The sweet, sugary taste and extra jolt of caffeine buzz were just what the gamers wanted to fuel their long sessions in front of video screens. Mountain Dew Citrus Cherry was discontinued when the promotion ran its course after a short run. However, the Game Fuel promotion has returned several times with Citrus Cherry as one of the star players to fuel thirsty gamers. See that kid? He's a gamer. America does the do. America! This patriotic looking Mountain Dew was released in the United States in the spring of 2017. This flavor was meant to commemorate two important days in America Memorial Day and Independence Day. The name Dew SA is an obvious nod to USA, and the red, white, and blue packaging is, of course, a celebration of America's flag. This Mountain Dew flavor was marketed as a combination of three existing soda flavors, Code Red, White Out, and Voltage. Apparently, these three particular flavors combine to make a very sweet purple soda, although officially this soda is not purple in color. I want that fancy purple hair! The folks at Mountain Dew say it is dark magenta, but it looks like purple. This seasonal flavor was said to be similar to a previously released flavor, Holiday Brew. Unfortunately for patriotic Mountain Dew drinkers everywhere, Dew SA was discontinued after a run of only a few months and didn't even last until Labor Day. In 2019, Dew SA was officially replaced by a new flavor called Liberty Brew. Regardless of the name change, this flavor was also made from the three flavors that made up Dew SA. This mixture of flavors didn't seem to be a winning combination, even though Mountain Dew's heart was in the right place. I'll get it, what flavor? No flavor, this is it. Mountain Dew Revolution. Do you want me to get naked and start the revolution? Mountain Dew Revolution was originally part of a promotion called Dewmocracy. This promotion described this flavor as dew infused with wild berry fruit flavor and ginseng with natural and artificial flavors. The light blue color seems like a good choice for this Mountain Dew flavor. Some people who have tasted this flavor have described it as a combination of Whiteout and Baja Blast. Mountain Dew Revolution was created by soda fans as part of the Democracy promotion and competed against the flavors Supernova and Voltage. Unfortunately for the revolution, it fell to third in the voting while Voltage came in first in the voting. By winning the vote, it won the right to be a Mountain Dew permanent flavor in August 2008. In 2011, a new Mountain Dew promotion hyped the idea that the company was holding on to a secret stash of the revolution variant that it planned to release to the public. A secret stash! I knew it! Thirsty fans of this enigmatic soda could enter to win this secret stash at Mountain Dew's Throwback Shack website. A few years later, not surprisingly, the winner of the stash of Revolution Soda put one of the bottles of soda up for sale on eBay, and bidding for that single bottle went as high as $33. Yes, eBay on. Fire! Mountain Dew Pitch Black. I can't see. <laughs> this dramatically dark Mountain Dew flavor was appropriately known as Pitch Black in the United States and Alert Noir in Canada. For obvious marketing reasons, it was released around Halloween in 2004 as part of a promotion. In 2005, a second version of the flavor with a sour taste called Pitch Black 2 was also released on Halloween. Pitch Black Mountain Dew is said to be a mixture of black grape soda and the classic Mountain Mountain Dew flavor. The result is a dark purple, almost black soda, so the pitch black name is clearly fitting. When they tell you I never see daylight again. A slurpy flavor named Darth Dew was released by 7-Eleven stores to promote the third movie in the Star Wars prequel trilogy, Revenge of the Sith. This slurpy flavor was only around during the theatrical run of the movie, then disappeared from soda fountains. Just as Anakin Skywalker seemingly came back from the brink of death as Darth Vader, pitch black found new life in 2011 and 2016 for a pair of promotions that pitted Pitch Black against other limited edition flavors, such as Typhoon and Baja Blast. Pitch Black won the due scission in 2016 to become a permanent flavor. Pitch Black had some success under other names internationally. However, in the United States, this flavor remained something of a black sheep and was finally discontinued after several years of consistently poor sales. Poor, poor. Poor, poor.
Poor, poor. Enjoy more sweet Babble Top videos? Just tap on that screen. And if you haven't joined our notification squad yet, show us some love and slam that subscribe button and click on that bell.